Have you ever been to a gathering where you don't know practically anyone there, but they all already have an idea of who you are because your name has been passed around before you have been there or or met anyone? And then when you're you're in this room of people, you get introduced, your name, try to remember who's who, and don't, because it's hard to remember all those names. I'm such a, a face people reader that I don't really remember names easily. I have to make myself remember them by repetition. That's okay. It's not that I won't speak to somebody if I don't know their name. It's just quite the opposite. I'm happy to speak to them without any idea of what their name is or or how they how they got their name. For example, my name's Lady. Lady, L A D Y. People do not get it, do not understand it, do not want to call me that. And I really don't care because that is what I go by. I was given the name in Sinai when I lived with a Bedouin tribe over 25 years ago, and I am not about to change it because there are certain people who can't get on with it. It is what it is, and hopefully they'll see through my smile, through my smiling eyes, and that will take away some of the sting of being called lady. It's not like I'm lady, puff, puff, ooh, ooh. No, it's just like any other name. Just, that's it. Anyway, let's move on. So now I'm in this place with all different types of people who I've never met, don't know anything about. And I'm invited there because it's a friend of a friend. Um, But only when I get there do I realize that these people know who I am because my friend has spoken about me quite a bit. And then whoever her friend was that she spoke to, Then she started speaking about me quite a bit to other people. So, again, this room of people had an idea of who I am. Um, Skeptical view of who I am. Some of them downright uncomfortable, had to move away from me. Um, Which None of this goes unnoticed to me. I, I pretty much am a reader, so I watch everything. But most importantly, I watch energy move. Vibratory fields, aura expansion. Uh, reaching into areas that bring people together or push people apart. I, I watch everything that they do. And quite honestly, the first meeting of anyone is rarely the soul of the person, or the spirit of that person, rarely. So I'm not a jump on the bandwagon as soon as I meet you because you're beautiful or everyone loves you or whatever it may be that I got introduced to. I'm a... Be compassionate, be kind, and then watch and make your own decisions. And I think if more people actually did this, the world would be a very different place. If we have people actually saying hello, being kind, being compassionate, listening to hear what other people are saying, but listening to hear, sense, and feel the vibratory field coming off that person when they don't know they're being watched. This is so definitive and and defines so much of what I do in a regular day. It's constant. It's tiring sometimes. But I know how to break it once I know I'm overdoing it. Nothing like a good swim to stretch you out, I have to say. Anyway, there was this one woman I met, and she looks so familiar. And I said to her, I know you. And I didn't know her. There's no way. I thought maybe I saw her on a video or I saw her something. But anyway, she had impressed me. Everyone was saying, oh, it was a past life. It was a... No, it wasn't a past life. It was, it was something about her structure that I know from somewhere else. I know it's not her. Now that I, when I was talking to her, this is not the person. But There's something about her that still sticks in my mind. When people go right to, oh, it must be a past life connection. Oh, you're remembering her from before. Oh, she's going to lead you into the next phase of your life. All this stuff, this is stuff. This is somebody's 
words they read from someone else. This is not experiential understanding, which I have the most respect for. When you have experience and knowledge, and you've made that a wisdom for yourself because you have proven it, you've proven it by repeating whatever it is. Let's say I, I don't know how to swim. And then I get thrown in the water, and it's sink or swim. Well, guess what? I swam. So that is experiential understanding in a deep level. But this is what I'm talking about. When you have that, then you know how to go ahead and swim in the water because you just learned it. The hard way, maybe, but you did learn it. So when people are, are out with you, and they're showing you themselves a certain, well, maybe a side of themselves. It's not to be taken lightly, but it's not to be taken as the end all. It's best if you just mingle around and listen to other words and watch how people react to each other. And you'll get a really clear sense of who's in front of you, who's behind you, who's alongside you, who's skeptical about you, which is healthy, by the way. Skepticism is healthy. I have no problem with that personally. And you'll, you'll feel a better sense of your surrounding. Safety and surrounding are hand in hand. You know, we learn that when we're young, but as we get older, we kind of like disregard our space more. And in this day and age, unfortunately, that's, that's going to cause a whole lot of trouble. Anyway, the ramble is over. I'm now going to let you contemplate if you feel like it. Remember, choose joy, harm none in words or deeds, and be vast, space of infinite knowledge, and your birthright if you choose to embrace it. Yep. If you want more information on that, contact directly on any one of the platforms. Have a great day.